Alrighty guys, I'm Morthodon, and we are here for The Queen's Gambit, a new show. Uh, we finished up Umbrella Academy, so I'm replacing one live-action show with another. If you had not seen my other videos announcing this, I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited to watch this one. I know nothing about it other than the title of the show, so I, all I know is one of my friends, when he was watching it, was really into it, so... I w I've been curious for a bit, and it's a it's a shorter show for now. There might be more seasons coming. Who knows? I don't know how this show's formatted, but um, at least for now, as far as I know, it's only one season. So I'm trying to like ease my way into the live action stuff. There are some really long shows that I want to watch eventually and do reactions to that I've never gotten around to seeing. So yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, this is gonna be. For, for those of you who may be new, I do timer-based reactions, so there isn't going to be any footage except for like 10 or ten to 20 seconds in the beginning to help you guys sync up. What happens is you guys need to sync your footage along with my timer, and, uh, and you'll be able to watch the entire episode with me. I do that to avoid, you know, a lot of the copyright issues that come with a lot of YouTube channels doing this and... And stuff like that so it's just a a method that keeps all my videos up on my channel and doesn't have any of them blocked and, and stuff like that so yeah um i my only theory that i've come up with i talked about this in one of my other videos was uh uh gambit makes me think of like games you know because of uh like gambit from x-men i believe was his name who does like the cards and everything um, and then I think I've heard of, like, Gambit used in, like, like, terms of games, like, I can't think of an example now, but, um, anyway, or I just associate it with that because of the, uh, because of the X-Men guy. But yeah, let's, uh, let's just watch this and see what happens. So, we're gonna start here in five, four, three, two, one, now. All right. Knocking, knocking. All right. I thought that was I thought it wasn't in English at first. What was she doing in the water? in the bathtub, in her clothes. Alright. It's not entirely in English. That's fine. Shows do this all the time. <laughs> this is a Netflix show, so you never know. 1967 in Paris, alright. Uh, you never know when the, when they're gonna show boobs or not, and she was like, take it off her shirt, and then it cut. <laughs> like, they teased us. They were like, do you think this is one of those shows? Pills? But what for? Oh, a person. Downing your pills with alcohol, that's never a good thing. I have no idea what I'm watching yet. <laughs> Whoa. That is bright. Alright, someone important, I, I suspect. Is that a chessboard? Those chessboards on the walls? Chess matches, huh? I'm guessing? Yep. Ooh. I used to play a lot of chess. 
an audience too. Come right at me. Oh, backstory? Already, a little bit. Uh, some kind of car accident. Oh, shit. Damn. Lost her parents, but there wasn't a scratch on her, it sounds like. Okay, just our mother. Damn. Oh, well, she had hair like her mother's. <laughs> I was silently judging the child's hairstyle. It looks just like her mom's, though. So, no idea about the dad. Mom's dead. Oh, so this is the orphanage. Jesus. Is that a... Was that one of the kids? Or was that, like, a staff member speaking that badly? God, that would suck. <laughs> like, I know there's only so much you can do for an orphanage and stuff, but... Can you imagine just losing your family? And then just being thrown into a home like this, surrounded by a bunch of people you don't know, other kids you don't know. I feel like it might be a little presumptuous to say that you'll find a better life than with your parents.
So how does this lead to the beginning? The chest stuff. Oh, the pills you took. Why do these kids have to take these pills? This gigantic jug of pills. Hmm. What? That's creepy. Oh, that's Jolene, okay. Jeez. Damn, that sucks. She was... She was very calm. Both of them at once? I can't even do that. Oh. They're just drugging these kids. Why? Like, that's the kind of thing you see in, like, a psych ward or something. Where they give people pills. I don't think this is normal, uh... Normal treatment for orphans. Insanely dilated pupils. That's cool, though. I like that detail. What? <laughs> I guess that could just be, like, kid conspiracy stuff. At least they got a lot of mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are pretty good. Even budget mashed potatoes are good. Just hearing that wind, I imagine, is drafty, and, I, and I'm already cold right now. I just, like, feel cold being in her position. Memory things? Better dad? Those pills again. What's with the pills? Are they the same exact pills or different? Yeah, I'm a little worried. The mom didn't seem, like, scared and panicking for, for that car accident. She was just, like, crying and calmly said, close your eyes. You don't have that much time to think ahead and be that calm unless she planned... To maybe kill herself and her daughter.
<sighs> if that is her dad, and seems like a decent guy anyway. But I don't know why she's running from him, though, so... You never know. With people. True natures can be hidden. Shouldn't check how long are these episodes. Probably normal length. Yeah. Like, um, just about an hour. Almost. do good can't tell if that's a good or a bad thing she hasn't said a word has she No, she did. When she was asked what her mom's last words were, she said, I don't remember. He playing chess. Man, I remember the days when we had to do that. We used to look forward to it, though. It was actually fun <laughs> cleaning those. Hmm. So is this her first discovering chess? Or is this her... Liking it and watching him looks like a first discovery kind of moment, seemingly. She gonna try to do that too? Oh, looks like she did. She gonna pick up chess like really easily by seeing how he moved the pieces? She seems smart too, based off the teacher. I think that was a good a good response based off the way the teacher looked at the um the answers to her paper. Oh, that's cool. So is she gonna be like a chess prodigy kind of thing? getting adopted. This chick caused him trouble. Oh, going back down. And check out the chessboard. Or wait, is this, oh no, this is. Thought it was a different room at first.
Hmm. He just plays by himself. Come on. This is a situation where the old man is supposed to love chess and be like, sure, I'll teach you because he wants someone to play with. You know, so the, the drugs, like, help her. Whatever they are. Whoa. That's kind of neat. Cool, like, visual representation for her, like, what I assume is going to be a genius kind of thing. She, like, slowly watches him and picks up on the way the pieces move. Oh, gotta be careful with that. <laughs> Actually, some decent advice from her for once. Is this all this guy does? Well, it's the 60s. Wait, it was 60s when she was an adult, wasn't it? That means this is, like, even earlier. Like, 50s, maybe? Yep. All right. Here's your chance, girl. Is she going to know that it can only do that? She's just gonna mirror him. <laughs> okay, no, she is. Queen already very audacious of him. I don't, I don't know if she knew about Checkmate yet. Oh, that's too... You're gonna OD! I don't know what they are. I don't know if it's possible to OD on them. No! How can you take so many at once? I can't even take two pills at once. She just took like six! Gonna replay what happened. Hmm. Is she trying to figure out how to beat it with those same moves? That's really cool. I like this because 
I can actually follow it a little bit, even though it's hard to, like, really keep track of both sides of the board. And, but I know, like, how the pieces interact enough that I can kind of see some of that stuff. Whereas I've seen other shows, such as, uh, like, for the anime I watch, uh, Rigatsu no Lion was one about Shogi, but I don't know how Shogi works. It's kind of close to chess, but a lot of differences as well. And I couldn't follow anything in there. Oh, lost our queen. That's never good. But... What? Why? What? That's bull! Screw this guy. Damn! <laughs> I don't think there's any sportsmanship rule where if you lose your friggin... Queen, you quit. Oh, it's locked now. Damn. What is that guy's job? Does he just sit in the basement and play chess all day? Is she finding a way to... Finding a way to do it while keeping her queen, potentially? Some random dude smoking outside of the fence. All right. No. <laughs> One hell of a conversation. Gross. She, like, trying to figure out why she, uh, pissed him off so bad by saying that. Oh. It's unlocked this time.
She's the only one that ever has to do these erasers. I can't tell if that's like a, a punishment or not. Alright, so they're doing the same opening. Oh, nope, different. Trading the pieces around. It looks like she lost her queen again. He didn't make her give up. Did it have to do with the method that she lost her queen? Oh. They gave up that time. Teaching her. <laughs> yep. I'm not that good. I am not. <laughs> I'm really bad at that. All right. So gave her a timeout of no playing and then then forgave her. Yeah, I can't, I, maybe she volunteers to do the, uh, the erasers. I don't know why I'm fixated on the erasers. Yeah, that's not right. Oh, she's not back with the erasers fast enough or something. Or she's just cleaning them so often. Oh. They're not always going to do the the moves you know. Ooh, the Queen's Gambit. Name of the show dropped first episode. Ooh, she's in the white side now. Because he's too prideful. No, I don't know. Or he's just trying to teach her too. Hmm. She was... 
moving a pillar on her hand, did she stop taking them as much? But we saw her taking them when she's older, so... All right. Nine. Damn. And to think, he said no at first. That's why you don't squash dreams just because of gender or whatever, any reason. You don't squash the goals of children. They can be prodigies. Gotta focus on your schoolwork, though, kiddo. Oh. Oh. Show him how good she is. Oh, what's that about? Oh, okay. Convenient. <laughs> they don't just switch seats. <laughs> mm, baiting it. Yeah. Is it our own chessboard? Oh, a doll. <laughs> she definitely doesn't like it, but that, that's a polite response. Oh, she's playing both of them. They haven't even started playing when it's timed yet. I think it's a little, like, disrespectful. 
maybe to walk away? Or is she gonna play by that? Oh. Damn. <laughs> Damn, so she, yeah, she's just prodigy. <laughs> Mr. Scheibel's like, what's this about? Okay, I guess. <laughs> so lacking in emotion. Oh, come on. All right. <laughs> An amazing chess player that doesn't know what simultaneous means. <laughs> Occasional. That's like really common with. Okay. I want to make sure I listen too. Oh. Double whammy, he's making the moves. All right. All right, cool. Playing a bunch of the chess players in the chess club simultaneously. Please don't be mad. What? She can be playing chess somewhere. Okay. So they're, they're too prip and proper to play in a basement. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hmm. Uh-oh.
Jesus, okay. Tranquilizers. Huh. He's storing them up. Oh, or not. Not enough. One left. Question is, can she play without her drugs? Probably the answer is no, considering how the episode began. <laughs> Oh, is she gonna try to steal some? Such a terrible thing they've been doing to these damn kids. <laughs> Jesus. Well. I hope this doesn't mess up her playing. I hope she's still good enough to play. She didn't have them during the day when she played. She had them at night when she practiced in her head, right? Alright. Oh, did she... Did she have one? Yeah, she snuck one in her hand, right? Ooh, a couple of them. Not a good habit to get into is needing those. I've seen some, like, like, TV shows and stuff where people do this, where they have, like, a bunch of people, like, lined up, and, and the person just walks between all of them and, and plays, like, beating them all and stuff. A lot of kids. Jeez. What are these punks? <laughs> I love the way they're lining up. It's like they're about to just frickin' beat each other down. Fight. Start. Oh boy. These are going to be a bunch of salty dudes if this ch if this nine-year-old beats them all. All right. She get to be white and go first. because she's at a disadvantage during so many games.
Oh, okay. How's she gonna do her first time doing this? She's a prodigy, does she just beat them all right away, or does it get close? <laughs> People coming to watch. takes me, like, a little bit to decide on a move whenever I play, and she's just walking over. <laughs> she's just munching on that chocolate. At least it looks like chocolate. <clears throat> <laughs> they are not happy people. <laughs> yep, that's gonna feel good. Aw. How do you get that much chocolate on your face eating that small of chocolates? <laughs> I guess kids do amazing things. Jeez. Still there. Oh boy. She gonna try to pick the lock with something? Quality on that video looks too good for a projector like that. But maybe I'm just ignorant. She gonna be able to <laughs> can't pick a lock with a screwdriver like that. Oh, she's gonna take the screws off. Risky game she's playing. Now, is she going to be able to steal enough?
Uh, maybe that video is fine. Man, she has to get the pills, get out, and friggin' screw that thing back on. This music, though, what the heck? Oh, come on. She can't just climb in and drop down. Or does she like... No, she can touch the floor fine, okay. I was gonna say like, are there lasers on the floor that she can't touch? Oh my god, no! 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 What are you doing? I thought she was gonna fill her pockets! Oh, she is. Oh, she's dropping them everywhere! She's gonna miss one. And then they're gonna know. This music is unnecessarily loud. She's just taking the whole thing? A child's ambition is too much. Oh, shit. Well, that looked like a plastic container. <clears throat> Uh damn kids. Oh, what? What? That's the end of the episode? God damn it. Alrighty, guys. <laughs> Shit. Alright, that's the end of episode one. So, damn. That was good. Um, It was... I, I So, I like these kind of stories. I, I'm a big fan of, like, seeing the genius of a, a prodigy, you know? And, and just, like... I feel like this show did a good job kind of visualizing the way that she was able to to learn the game is through the the stuff on the ceiling. Now, I wish it wasn't due to taking these pills that uh that she was able to do that, you know? I kind of wish she was able to do it on her own. <sighs> but the only bad thing is is like, I, I really, there's a part of me that would hope that she would get to the point where she could do it on her own, but we saw in the future that she has the pills on her in in, uh, in the current time before we went back to this, uh, this flashback that took up the whole episode. Um, but the, but we don't really have that because, you know, we know she has them in the present, so that means she never kicks this. It's just going to be about how does she find, how does she keep finding the pills to be able to keep going, I feel like is how the story is going to go, you know? But one thing I'm not sure of is, does she take the pills to help her play, or does she take the pills to help her strategize at night? That's what I'm not sure of. It seemed like she took them to strategize at night. And maybe she needed them before she went to the uh, the high school because of the fact that she was starting to feel withdrawals. And because of that, she wasn't able to... She might not have been able to perform well enough with feeling that way, you know? But uh, first of all... Well, not first of all, but uh, really the, the biggest trage tragedy in all of this is that she... That these people were giving these kids these pills in the first place. Now, I'm not I'm not very historical and like I don't know a lot of historical knowledge. So was that a thing back then? Because let's see, in she was in Paris in '67 
was when she was an adult. She's nine years old. She looked like she was probably in her 20s, I feel like, at that time. She could have been in her early 30s, maybe. Um, it's hard to tell sometimes for me, but... Um, so, theoretically, if she was, say, 25 at that time, then that would mean that that would have been, what, 14 years ago? From 67? So yeah, that still would have been in the... It would have been in the 50s. So was that a thing in the 50s where they gave kids tranquilizers and, uh... To, you know, calm them down or something? Because that, like... At least the visual representation they gave us was very, like... It seemed like it... Maybe it was also because it was her first one. Maybe you get used to it a little more over time. But she was, like, tripping out. Like, she put her hand on the heater, and it didn't even, like, phase her. That's how much she was tripping out. And I feel like that's way too much for a kid. Even if you're trying to use it as a calming agent, because, you know, you have a, uh... You have an orphanage full of kids that go buck wild. You give them these pills to calm them down. I feel like they need to give them, like, half that dosage, you know? Granted, it's not a pill. It's not as easy as just, like, cutting it in half like you can do with pills sometimes to... To lower the dosage for a kid or something. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. It's, uh... It's definitely a messed up thing they're doing to these kids, though. Especially if they... If they do have withdrawal symptoms when you stop taking them and stuff like that. It's definitely can't be healthy for a kid to take. And obviously, by... You know, by the end of this episode, we saw that they... They had banned it, and he was getting in a lot of trouble for... For what he was giving out. But... Yeah. That's that's pretty messed up, but it allowed her to really visualize everything and and learn better, I guess. And now she is, you know, probably addicted. She's a very smart kid even when she's not on the pills unless they last from the time she takes them at night until the morning until the next time she plays chess, you know. But I think that she's a very bright kid and I think that she is able to learn without the pills. But the thing is, is she's gotten addicted to them at this point, so now she probably feels she can't learn without the pills. But, um... But yeah, I like that the, uh... The guy in the basement... Oh, he had a weird name. Can't remember it now, I'm sorry. I'm really bad with names, guys. Uh, but he... I like how he warmed up to her. It was a little rough at first, you know. I don't I don't know if that was an actual rule in chess. I don't know all like the the professional etiquette to playing chess. Well, I guess rules was a bad way for me to put it, but the professional etiquette, you know, um of when she lost her queen that she should have just given up because I think that's bull. I think she had a strategy that she thought of the night before to win, but he wouldn't let her continue. So um, in my eyes, since I don't know if that was an actual thing in, in history of chess or still is a thing in chess, it just seemed like a, a dick move from his part. And then even just in the beginning that like girls don't play chess or whatever, um, once again, it's just a, he's molded by his time at that point for, for stuff like that. But, but yeah, like I was saying it during the reaction, the whole, uh, like, you never want to quash a kid's dreams like that, because you never know if they could be, you know, like that, a prodigy at something like that. And, I mean, I don't know about in the 50s, but I'm sure there was a point in time where you could be, like, a professional chess player. I'm not sure nowadays if that's even a thing anymore. There might be professional chess tournaments and stuff like that. I'm sure there are. But I don't know if they pay enough for that to be, like, a career but I think in the past that might have been a career option if you were good enough, you know? But, but yeah. I guess going all the way back to the beginning, very tragic story of how she stumbled into the situation was her, you know, was in a car accident, her mom died, she lived, and, uh, and stuff like that. Now, I, I have a sneaking suspicion, I don't know if we're ever gonna learn more about it, but... I have a sneaking suspicion that she that the mom might have like killed herself or something. Because I, I said it during the reaction, but I'll elaborate some more. The it's weird how she 
when her, she had a memory of her mom looking in the rearview mirror, crying, and saying, close your eyes. That's a weird thing to remember right before a car accident. Usually, usually you don't have the time while you're driving about to be in an accident to be like, to calmly like start crying and say, close your eyes, you know? Unless the kid's remembering wrong. Unless uh, Elizabeth is remembering wrong. Uh, I mean, it's it's definitely suspicious. And then the scene where potentially the father, whoever that was outside their house saying, like, you keep running from me and stuff like that. I don't know if she's running from him because he did something wrong or if she just wanted out. Like, I don't know if he's a good or bad man. I mean, he tracked her down and seemed to be trying to help her. So my first impression is he's good, but, you know, just the fact that she left in the first place, why'd she leave in the first place and, and keep running from him if he's that good, you know? So a little suspicions there, but even still, the way he was talking said, like, you need help, and she's like, no, I'm fine, I'm happy, almost seems like she might might have been, like, going through depression, and and she's just, like, telling herself she's happy, and then she started, like, burning everything, which is usually a sign of, like, you know, not wanting to leave anything behind, maybe. Either that or they were moving and she couldn't bring too much with her. I don't know. Um, but it, it just, it rubbed me a little bit the wrong way, seeing that, that rearview mirror sign and the whole, like, close your eyes. Like, that, that to me means she was, at, she was thinking with a level enough head because in a car accident, I don't think you even have time to, like, consider the fact that your kid's in the backseat and you need to, like, cater to them. You're too busy trying to, you know, move the wheel, get out of the way, try to live somehow. You're you're not calmly, like, looking in the rearview mirror saying, like, you know, uh, close your eyes or whatever. It, it almost seemed like she was just trying to kill herself and her daughter, so. Um, but we'll see. I don't know if we're going to learn more about that. But yeah, and then she ended up in this orphanage. And, and everything. Granted, it could be seen as partially a good thing because she was able to put her talents to use because she found out about chess here, but at the same time, obviously at the cost of losing your family, that's never good. It reminds me a lot of uh, a lot of Three Got to No Lion, you know, with the main character losing his family and, and stuff like that. Uh, and being like very very talented at this this game and everything, but obviously some some differences in, in all that. But uh, that was a, that was a great show. I loved that show, and like I said, I I like this one a lot because I know how to play chess. So being able to follow well, I I know the basics of chess. I should say I don't know when it comes to like KB three and you know, knowing all the positions on the board and being able to name off each square's name and stuff. I can't do that. There's no way I could ever play without looking, you know? And I probably couldn't ever play well on a timer. But I at least know where the pieces move, which means I can follow the games a little bit better. I know what they're doing, whereas in Three Gatsu no Lion, there's uh, the whole... the whole aspect of playing Shogi. And... I don't know how to play it, so, uh, yeah. And, and then also, I can't even read the pieces. Even if I started to learn by watching the show, you know, they're always saying, like, you know, knight and, like, golden knight or something and stuff like that in that show. But they're they're moving the pieces, and I don't even know what it says on the pieces because I can't read the kanji and stuff like that. So, uh, it's... It was rough in that regard. It made some of those scenes not as... not as impactful when watching the show, but... Um, it also, the whole, like, when she turned around and was playing without looking at the board, it strongly reminded me of towards the end of Hunter x Hunter with, uh, Kumugi and Meruem playing together, and Kumugi being blind, she was able to play the whole game in her head without, you know, being able to see the board herself, so... That was a really cool aspect. Of course, they were playing Googie, a different game made up entirely in that universe. But um, it was still like it still brings up like watching the show brings up all these like nostalgic things and and has a lot of themes that I like. I like chess. I used to play all the time with my dad. 
I felt I was pretty good for someone that was average at playing, like, without the timer and, and all that. Like, I feel like if you if you take someone that just, like, plays every now and then with their parents and I play them, I feel like I, at least I used to be good enough that I might win. Uh, but me and my dad used to play, and I used to do very good. And then I would play against my grandfather whenever, uh... Every now and then, when we'd go over for, like, Christmas and holidays and stuff, he had a chess board, and I'd play against, like, my cousins and my grandfather, and I'd typically, like, win. So, um, I'm definitely nowhere near Prodigy level, or nowhere near these people's level. Like, I'm pretty sure anyone that was playing chess in this show, even in the chess club, would whoop my ass. So, um, but... But yeah, just the fact that I know the game, I like the... I like the themes and everything that's, that's going for this show, so... I think it's going to be fun to watch. Now, I do personally have a bad history with people in my life doing drugs, so I'm never a fan of seeing someone addicted, and now obviously I don't blame Elizabeth. She's young. She doesn't even understand the concept of addiction. Like, when they talked about withdrawal symptoms, she doesn't even know what that is, you know? Uh, it's really this orphanage's fault, but... You might get a little bit of, like, salty remarks as she gets older and she learns more about the world. And I don't know if we're going to cut back to that current time and move on from there at some point. But the fact that she's still taking the pills there, I'm just, you know, I I'm not a fan of people doing doing drugs. <laughs> so just because of the way it's affected my life. Um, obviously, people are allowed to make their choices, but I'm also allowed to judge them for those choices. So you might hear a little bit of a, a little bit of salty comments from from when she's an adult if she's still taking them, which I'm pretty sure she is because we saw that we saw her take them in the in the beginning. But um, yeah, it's uh, I feel like it's good casting. Uh, I guess it's mainly like the hairstyles and stuff were were good, but I felt like the kid looked a lot like her mom for the actors, and then uh, I felt like the older version of Elizabeth looks a lot like younger version of Elizabeth, so, um, but I mean, a lot of it's probably just hairstyles really, like, doing it for me, you know, the, a lot of similar ha hairstyles throughout all of them with the bangs and everything, but um, I guess her hairstyle and her when she's older is a little bit different, but anyway, um, yeah, uh, uh, is there more to talk about for, like, the, the scene where she beat everybody and then was just, like, eating the chocolate and talking crap about, like, how bad they were was hilarious, um, I, I do like that, and that's something I have seen before where people do like that, walking around playing a bunch of chess games, at least I've seen it in TV shows, I imagine it's derived from, you know, chess prodigies doing that in real life and stuff like that, you know, unless that's something, like, made up for dramatical effect in, in media, but, um, but yeah, that was cool to see. I wonder, uh, I wonder what the main story of this show is gonna be. Like, it seems like it's gonna be about Elizabeth and her journey as becoming this, like, chess master, potentially, uh, in an age where, you know, maybe not a lot of women play chess, I don't know. Um, but I wonder if it's just gonna be about the games that she plays, like, if we do cut back to that present time... Is it just going to be about whoever she's going up against there? Like, what kind of, what kind of, like, dramatic tension are they going to throw into the show to keep us, like, hooked, you know? It's going to be interesting. I'm already into it, uh, but, but yeah, like, right now it's, like, the whole pill thing and the fact that she can't take him anymore and how messed up it was in the first place and everything is really, like, probably the big, like, uh, drama aspect of this first episode, but I wonder how they're gonna how they're gonna keep those drama aspects keep, to keep going because I think uh, <clears throat> I think a show like this could really stall out uh, with it being about chess. Even though I love chess and I love following the story of prodigies and stuff like that, um, uh, if if every episode's about her just beating different opponents and stuff like that, th there's gonna be more to the episodes. I feel like, but yeah. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what this show has to offer in, in the coming episodes and stuff like that. I don't know how many episodes this show has. I guess I could probably go look. 
do 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 do. Seven episodes. All right, so it's a it's a fairly shorter one. So yeah. Anyways, guys, I think that's gonna be it from me. Uh, we'll be doing the next one next week. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you're watching this on YouTube in the future hit that subscribe button the reason why i say future is because this is a patreon show you can check out my patreon the link should be popping up on the screen shortly or already uh patreon shows are shows that i release all the episodes onto my patreon before they start coming out onto youtube at a weekly basis so if you're watching episode one on youtube right now that means all the other episodes are on my patreon right now so if you want to support the channel you can check that out i very much appreciate it but it's obviously not mandatory so yeah guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my future reactions Bye bye